Hi y'all, it's me Sonia. So today I'm gonna be filming this look. It looks like one that I always do, but I use different stuff. I use some new, I use some new products. So yeah, if you're interested in watching, just watch the video. Hello y'all, so I want to film another makeup video, but like I don't know what I want to do, but I want to do like a brown, I don't know, I kind of want to put like brown all like down here. So uh, maybe that's what I'll do, but I don't know. And I have a few new products to try. I've used this before. Some of y'all are going to be real mad, but it must be said. This palette right here is a really good palette. So I'll be using this today. Maybe probably like these colors up here, the brown ones. Um, I've used this before in this look. I'll make that video soon, but I want to do something new for today. I'm a little broke right now. So the first new thing that I will be trying today is the I'm gonna use my sample because I have a between as a full size right here it's the milk makeup hydro grip primer and she said it's really good I put this on my face like the other day when I was trying to film but I ended up taking my makeup off because I started crying because I, I couldn't finish filming but yeah so I don't really know how this works um, but it gets really sticky so yeah twin oh excuse my nail i had to take this one off yeah twin said it's really good so hopefully i like it i don't know how much to use but yeah this does get like really sticky on your face while i'm doing this y'all this wig right here i don't know if you can tell because i have my headband on but i'm gonna be doing a separate review video soon it's a 360 lace wig it's from mega look i'll put all the info in the description but I'm kind of shook right now. I was like gonna get rid of this wig because it was like making me mad. Like I couldn't get it to look good. Last time that's why I started. I was trying to film a video on it or another makeup video and I couldn't get it to look good. So like I looked crusty. Um, but last night I like bleached the knots and now this is like my favorite wig. Like I'm shook. I bleached the knots and I plucked the hairline and I put it on today and it like blends in with my hair, my hair really well. I don't know, this is my like my new favorite wig. I'll put um, information in the description. I think it's a 20, 22 inch 360 lace wig. The hair is really soft. The only thing is like when I got it, it didn't smell really good. But yeah, I'll go in depth in the actual review. I really, really like this hair and I'm really surprised that, hold on, let me try to show y'all. It's slipping right now, but if you, if I like had a comb, and I don't have a wig cap on or anything, so it's a little difficult to get it to blend, but yeah, I need to like part my hair underneath, but like when I do that, it looks like super good, and I really love like the hair. It doesn't smell that bad anymore after I washed it and bleached the knots, so that's good. I'm probably going to end up dyeing it like blue-black too, because I like to have really dark hair. And this is like the natural color, so it still looks kind of brown. But yeah, anyway. So the primer's on. It's not really that sticky. Um, I saw you're supposed to like let it set before you put your other makeup on on top of it. So I'm going to do that. So another new product. This just came in the mail today. I forgot I ordered it. But it's the Morphe Fluidity Full Coverage Foundation. I'm going to go ahead and try this today. I swatched it in the store and I really like the undertone. But they didn't have it in the store, so I had to order it. need to color correct first. Oh, and also, I'm not going to be putting music in my videos anymore because, like, YouTube, I don't know, it's like, I keep getting copyright on, like, my old videos, so I'll just be using, like, iMovie sounds and stuff since that's what I edit on. But, yeah, I won't be having any music in my videos anymore because I don't want to deal with the copyright mess. So, sorry if that makes my videos not as good, not that they're good in the first place, but, yeah. Okay, I don't know if the primer is not sticky on me because I just wash my face and I moisture I moisturize with a moisturizer mixed with rosehip oil. So I don't know if the oil made it less sticky. Hopefully it doesn't like mess up what it's supposed to do because I really like the oil and I wanna like this primer because I don't really like any milk makeup products that I've tried in the past except for that supernova pressed highlighter. I really love that highlighter. I was gonna do a look with that today, but I decided to do one with the the sugar palette i also have this sugar pill shadow i might use that too i don't know also if you're curious about the lenses i'm wearing um they are olens russian gray or russian silver i think it's russian silver daily lenses and i have a code for them if you guys want to get some they do have a global website the code isn't a commission code it's just to save y'all money 
it's Sonya 10. I'll put it in the description if you're interested. Okay, so now I'm gonna conceal. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and try the Morphe Fluidity Foundation. I got the color F250. This is the one with the greenish olive undertone, and I think I'm that because I look kind of green. So I got this one. Let's see if the color is good. It looks pretty good compared to the Fenty 290. Um, so yeah, hopefully this works out this much supposed to be full coverage so let's see if it, if it is <laughs> no, it smells kind of weird coverage looks really good so far actually Okay, um, so I finished my foundation. Y'all, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's the foundation or the primer, but bro, the way my skin looks right now, like it looks really good. My makeup has never looked like this before, and I haven't set it with powder yet, so I'm gonna do that. I also have a new powder to try. It's the Beauty Bakery flower powder i got the translucent color because i sometimes like banana powders like darken under my eyes and i didn't want that so i got the transparent one y'all have probably seen this packaging before it's you know, a little like you know big like all-purpose flower type of bag it's really cute i haven't opened it yet i actually wanted to try the jeffree star powder when i got this but it was sold out in the color i was gonna get the beige one but it was sold out so I got this one instead. Looks like this. Y'all, if all these products slap, I'm gonna be really happy. <laughs> okay, so I think I put too much powder on, but I put setting spray under my eyes and now it looks fine. My foundation looks really good actually, so now I'm just gonna contour and stuff. I'm probably just gonna do the rest of like my foundation stuff off of camera and I'll come back to do my eyes since I always do this on camera. I'm gonna use my dip brow. Did I say in another video that I'm gonna keep my eyebrows bleached? But it's too much work. I feel like it makes my nose look bigger. So I'm just gonna grow them out. As you can see, they've grown out. They look horrible. I tried to dye them with like the with some semi-permanent black dye, but it just like came out immediately so I stopped trying but yeah I'll just be doing my eyebrows so I might come back and they'll be done okay brows are done I'm gonna start off with with cake mix first and hopefully it doesn't go too pink on my skin because I'm just gonna like put it I was gonna put it under my eyes and just like build up different brown shades and see what it looks like I have this brush this is like a highlighting brush this is from Perry, Pari. I don't know, they DM me on Instagram and asked me if I wanted brushes and I said yes. And they sent me some. Let's see. I'm taking the color ouch. It's like this camel they gonna layer that on top. Maybe this wasn't a good idea because it looks horrible. <laughs> it looks like terrible on camera. 
feel like my camera's tilted now because I had to change the battery again. I'm add some of this shade intravenous. I think that looks cool. So, I'm gonna put on eyeliner and I have a new eyeliner as well. I've been looking for like a matte black, you know, one that looks powdery, matte black liquid liner and a lot of people told me to get the NYX matte eyeliner. So I have that one, I'm gonna use it. Looks like this, I haven't used eyeliner like this in a while. So, great. Y'all see that? I was supposed to do eyeliner like that. Okay, I hate liquid eyeliners like this because my eyelashes are like really curly and if it gets on my eyelashes, which it always does, it's going to get everywhere. So I have to be really careful. A little bit bigger than I wanted it to be. This eye is rounder than this one, and this one's more elongated because this side of my face is shorter and this side of my face is longer. Too Faced Better Than Six is my favorite mascara. I do prefer the waterproof one though, but I got this in a Boxy Charm, I think. Um, so I'm gonna use that. Before I do my eyelashes, I want to put this on. This is also new. It's just a nude eyeliner from a waterline. So for my lips, I'm going to use my 3CE number 220 Hit Me Up lipstick and I'm going to use my 3CE Velvet Lip Tint and Taupe. Hopefully, I don't really like warm toned lips anymore, but I'll see how it looks blended out. And I guess that's it, y'all. There. Alright, 
y'all so this is the finished look i guess very similar to what i do all the time except i use different palette and different lipstick well i use a lot of different stuff today so that's good the foundation still looks good um, my smile lines haven't creased usually they crease before i'm done with my makeup so i think miss hydro group is a winner so i will be needing to purchase the full size of her the foundation looks really good might be my new favorite um i still love miss fenty so i'll still be using her i love this palette sorry i'm not but yeah i love this palette yeah i think that's all i have to say uh oh again this is my new favorite wig from mega look hair i'll be having a dedicated video on this week soon so if you're interested you can look out for that i'll probably actually film that next and i'm also gonna film a haul video and my favorites current favorites um it's not gonna be a lot because i don't really use a lot of stuff but maybe these products will be in there too some of them um that's the finished look uh thank you for watching i hope you liked it thumbs up if you did y'all in my next one